Jesus Christ, really? Don't forget to become a member of Unrelent Gaming's Patreon for exclusive manga content and early access. Isn't that right, Seth? I already joined his Patreon today. Tons of great stuff on there, actually. But did you really have to blow up the city? Mm, yes. You blew up the domino. You blew up the domino and you're laughing. Do you realize the f***ing crisis here? And you will be next. Unless you subscribe, like the video, and turn on notifications right now. Or else what? You'll aggressively scream another man's name for several hours? Kakarot! Kakarot! And so it has finally all come down to this. With Kuliza's sudden surge in power along with his shift in personality towards wanting to go through with destroying both Goku and Vegeta, if they are not careful and use everything that they have to stop him, then it'll all be destroyed within an instant. Wait, could this really be? And so it is. How truly unbelievable and what perfect timing as well. So this is what it will all come down to. And how fitting of a moment it is because with everything riding on the line for Goku and Vegeta, we will now finally get to bear witness on which of them will truly be the last warriors standing by the very end. As our story now continues following the initial events of Omega Kuliza being shown having to fire off the Kamehameha against both Goku and Vegeta, as with the gigantic explosion now being shown having to take place beneath the spectators, it was only as Beerus was shown having to oversee this where Beerus went on to comment, Someone explain to me on just what the heck happened down there! I sense a sudden change beneath the smoke and I am no longer able to sense Goku's energy at all, as well as Vegeta's either, almost like something shielded them behind the wall of smoke there. Oh, what just happened? Are they dead? Are they alive? I can't tell, nor can I see anything. Oh, they couldn't possibly be dead now, could they? Surely they had to have survived somehow, didn't they? I refuse to believe otherwise, as Budo went on to chime in. Oh, damn that fusion and those stupid Saiyans for not ending this any sooner. What happened down there? Did he do it? Was that Saiyan mortal Goku finally able to go back into using that power that he used against you, Takira, or what? Well, as far as I can tell, Takira responds, they are both still alive, and surprisingly enough, it looks like the mortal had gone and pulled it off yet again. I knew that he could do it again, and so he did, which upon Kaliza now being shown having to try to catch his breath, that was when Kaliza went on to respond, and so this marks the end of you both for good this time. Good riddance, you annoying waste of space. Space. You two have no idea on how long I've waited to see this day. How hard I've worked to watch you both be destroyed in the most brutal way possible. And thus your stories have finally reached their end by your master's hands. And I don't care how many new transformations those monkeys were able to acquire, Kaliza continues. In the end, they both still fell short at the face of my supreme and absolute absolute power. And so now that those runs are out of my way, it's time that we turn our attention towards that rotten god of destruction Beerus up there and finish my mission by destroying him next. But then, it was only just now from out of nowhere to Kuliza's surprise where Goku's voice went on to emanate through the smoke as Goku went on to respond, We could never let a monster like you ever come in between what we have worked so very hard to protect, Kuliza. No, but that's impossible. Possible, Kuliza went on to quickly respond, as it was only now all of a sudden from behind the smoke, as we now bear witness to Vegeta and Goku still remaining intact, it looked as though once again 
Goku was able to now finally go back into using his angel transformation as Vegeta then went on to respond, Oh, what the heck was that just now? What just happened? We're alive? Kakarot, what's this energy that I'm sensing that's coming from you? What did you just do? With Goku responding, this is the energy of the angels, Vegeta. A rare celestial power that allows for me to fully step into and walk freely within the domain of the angels and you. Kuliza, this fusion of yours has proven to be more troublesome for us than it's worth and you are simply too dangerous to keep around. You just say what? An angel form, Vegeta went on to then ask. Yeah, and I likely don't have long while using this power too, so we'll have to wipe him out quick if we hope to get through this for good, with Kaliza then responding, Angel power? But that's impossible! You're just a worthless monkey! How is it that you are able to wield angel power when you are just a low-level monkey slave? You are lying! With Goku responding, I'm lying now, am I? So then why don't I show you exactly what I mean by demonstrating a power that goes far beyond what any of Frieza's precious serums could do for you. We will not have you rip everything we fought so hard to protect away from us, Kuliza! To which seconds later, as soon as Angel Goku is now shown going on the move, that's when Yoshido went on to respond, Whoa! Look! He did it again! The Angel Monkey is back to using the same level of power that he was shown wielding against Sekira! Well, I guess that settles that, doesn't it? That fusion is done for down there, and he doesn't even realize it yet, with Beerus having to question, What did you just say? What did he just say, Whis? Angel form? Indeed, he has, my lord, Whis went on to then respond. Through his rigorous training with me, he has now rightfully entered his place to walk among the domain of the angels, Whis continues. Now, for the record, this does not mean that Goku is now an angel by blood, but more like an exception who is strong enough to pass through. In which, upon Goku now being shown having to strike Omega Kuliza directly in the stomach, that's when Goku then went on to continue, not so high and mighty now, aren't you? Well, don't worry, because I'm going to do what you just did and take my time and make you suffer nice and slow. This one was for the people you've hurt, our friends and our family. Now, Vegeta, he's all yours to tear into. And Vegeta meant business, because upon Goku now being shown ducking on under, with Vegeta being shown slamming his way right into Kaliza, was when Vegeta then went on to respond, remember what you agreed to, Kakarot, and stick to the plan! Now you cowards are in for a rude awakening! For everything that you've done here today, I am going to take everything away from you! Especially you, Frieza! Mark my words, you are both finished, cowards! With Akuma responding, that fusion is as good as done, especially with the way these two mortals have been fighting against him. The tides have now shifted drastically in their favor, with Beerus then chiming in, I, I just can't believe what I'm seeing. But it only makes sense now when you look at it. One who walks down the path of a destroyer and one who walks down the path of an angel. In which back down below as soon as Master the Ultra Ego Vegeta was shown in hot pursuit and going after Kaliza was when Vegeta then went on to shout, You overplayed your hand the moment you thought that we were already beaten while still having the ability to breathe. You should have destroyed me when you did! As even Budo went on to chime in. Do the rest of you sense distress coming from that fusion too? He's starting to realize that it's all starting to crash down around him, in which upon Vegeta now being shown punching Kaliza in the face, it had only now appeared as though the tides were now beginning to shift in our hero's favor as Vegeta then went on to continue. I am going to break you piece by piece, inch by inch, until you suffer just as you tried to make me suffer, scum. Good, now this is the Vegeta that I wanted to see Beerus went on to then chime back in. This was what I wanted my student to showcase against the strongest in the cosmos. Unyielding power, the thirst for battle and mayhem, and the desire for absolute destruction. And I see that Vegeta is also getting stronger as he fights too. Very, very good. That's the way. No matter what form you take, no matter how much power you think you have, Vegeta went on to a address Kaliza by attacking him. You are still the same weakling whom we've beaten time and time again, Frieza! And that brother of yours who tagged along with you will be no exception! And now you've lost your one and only edge to destroy us because now I can feel you 
you both slipping within. You will never spit on the legacy of my people and live to talk about it. To which from that point, as soon as Vegeta was now shown having to uppercut Kaliza was when Yoshida went on to chime in. You know, that destroyer mortal is really starting to grow on me. He's so aggressive and extremely violent with his approach. It kind of makes me wonder on what it would be like to fight someone like him, even though I'd easily take the win over him, of course. I knew they can do it. Whis went on to then chime in upon having to see Goku also now being shown attacking Kaliza. But I'm starting to notice that Goku here isn't looking to permanently destroy Kaliza, but rather break them down first and getting them to defuse. So I'm only going to assume that it's because maybe perhaps they want to fight Frieza and Cooler by themselves. A wild guess to take, but it's more of a likely one, if anything, to which upon Goku now being shown having to drive Kaliza back, it was only as everyone was now beginning to observe Kaliza's body getting driven across the landscape was when the Grand Prix went on to chime in. Well, this entire ordeal was, of course, a very personal one the moment Goku and Vegeta stepped foot back onto this planet. So, I don't really see any other outcome here which favors Frieza's alliance with his brother when it's all said and done, with Budo responding, so the Saiyans have already won then. And little does this Kuliza even realize that he's also starting to bleed out a lot more power than he's able to control. So, he's falling apart with the Kuma responding, and to think that this creature was moments away from challenging the five of us, how delusional of him, with Budo chiming back in, well as long as he is still down there, he might still want to try, so keep your eyes on that fool just in case. Well then let him try, Akuma quickly responds, because you and I both know what would happen if he was actually foolish enough to try and drag the five of us into their personal squabble. But Kaliza was not having it, because even despite being at a significant disadvantage, as soon as Kaliza was now shown teleporting behind Goku, it was only just when Kaliza had now attempted an attacking Goku was when Kaliza went on to respond, CURSE YOU MONKEYS! Angelic power or not, that angel head of yours will be mine to hang inside of my spaceship, you dirty little barbarian! This fusion of yours is a testament to your desperation, not your might, Angel Goku went on to quickly respond. The more you continue to try, the more evidence it will become, so keep trying, Kaliza, because with every attempt, you are only making our victory more certain. You don't have the slightest idea on just how badly this fusion of yours is doing more harm than it is good for you, Goku continues. And we would know that better than anyone since we went along ahead to use the Potaras twice before. You have now become so unstable that you can't even focus anymore. The universe always has a way of setting things right, Goku then continues, no matter the circumstances. Your fusion, your power, all of this is temporary, but our will to protect those who we call our friends and family will forever be eternal. You could never destroy what me and Vegeta have become, with Kaliza then responding, NONSENSE GOKU! You know that this is what destiny had intended for the two of you, and the fate of your lives is to be decided by me, you little bug. To which seconds later, as soon as Goku was now shown blocking off Omega Kaliza's punch with simply one finger was when Goku then went on to continue, why don't you wake up and understand that you are no longer the one who is in control here, Kuliza. You were so desperate to see us die that you took any shortcut that you could in order to have that happen. So you can taunt and threaten us all you'd like. We've seen your true nature and it's weak. Your fusion is nothing but a mask and it's starting to fall apart, Goku continues. Your insults mean nothing to us because we've heard them all before and injecting yourself with our DNA to gain leverage isn't going to save you from what's coming. And I can already see what you're trying to do and it won't work. You're falling apart both inside and out and it's only going to be a matter of time before we tear you apart and embarrass you again. But I'm not the only problem that is standing in your way because there is a destroyer Saiyan among us here who is dying to eradicate you, Goku says. To which upon Goku now being quickly shown having to move out of the way with Vegeta being shown having to elbow Kaliza in the back of the head was when Akuma went on to chime in. Their collective efforts are not only starting to take effect on the fusion physically, but they also seem to be falling apart psychologically as well. And without proper balance of the mind, body, and spirit while fused, Takira went on to then quickly respond. The Saiyans have now turned this Kaliza into a ticking time bomb ready to explode. Bro, oh, this cannot possibly be happening to me, especially not now, Kaliza then went on to quickly shout. Not with how far I've come to reach this point in my quest. 
quest to destroy you all. Do the two of you truly think that this is all that I've got in this battle? Well, I'll show you. I'll show all of you. Angel and destroyer monkeys alike. Bring the entire circus if you want to. Nothing will change, Kuliza continues. This is but a taste of the destruction that I am capable of and so prepare to watch it all burn before your eyes. I'll set myself into a cold oblivion if I need to if it means wiping you all out forever. And so that's exactly what I'm about to do whether you want me to or not. Our union was meant to encompass the very essence of ultimate power and I will not be undone by the likes of you. We are the bringers of destruction and the rightful rulers of all beings across the cosmos. So now crumble and fade into the voids of space. But then, it was only from out of nowhere before Kaliza could even finish was when Angel Goku was now shown grabbing onto Kaliza's arm by then telling him, I don't think so. Not while I'm still standing in your path, you won't. You are a testament to the fact that power without control and without balance and proper experience is nothing more than a temporary crutch in battle. Your essence is as transparent as ever. And for what, Goku went on to question? Because a part of you still holds a grudge against us? Your hatred, your rage, your jealousy, none of it could come close to being what we've become. And you can't stand the sight of that, can't you? You'll never win, and so either give up now or continue to be humiliated, Kaliza. With Kaliza then responding, I'd rather die a million times over than ever bend the knee to either of you. Never, you hear me? Do you remember the terror that you felt on planet Namek? The dread that you and your disgusting friends felt on Earth when Frieza was resurrected? Remember the fear that pierced into your souls on planet Serial after destroying those heaters? Such fear will be no different here once I regain control. With Goku responding, well, suit yourself then. Try not to blink. With Kaliza responding, what? What are you talking about, monkey? Wait, what's that? No, Vegeta! In which from out of nowhere, as soon as Kaliza was then shown spotting a gigantic ball of destruction energy that was headed towards him was when Beerus went on to chime in. Oh yes, now that's what I'm talking about, Vegeta! I taught him that, by the way. Now crush that lizard's fusion and be done with this already so that way we can go and eat because I'm starving! So now rip into that fusion! To which upon the moment of contact as this ball of destruction energy was now shown crashing into Kaliza was when Akuma went on to chime in. An experience plays a heavy factor in this battle between them, and these two mortal Saiyans are no strangers to any of it, which is why their efforts are shown being extremely effective. And by the time that fusion was just about to end it all, it was already too late because he had already given the Saiyans too much time to recuperate, with Yoshido then having to chime back in. Yeah, right, 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 but who else here suddenly has the urge to want to just jump on down there and start throwing hands too, huh? I know I can't be the only one here who is itching for a fight, right? Grow damn you Saiyans! This will not destroy me! For I will make sure it doesn't! Kaliza then went on to shout. You will not win, you monkeys! As moments later with a gigantic explosion now being shown taking place with Vegeta and Goku having to oversee this was when Vegeta went on to chime in. Serves that spineless abomination right for thinking that he could overlook me. He's still alive, Kakarot. He's disoriented and disorganized, but he's still functional, with Angel Goku responding, I know, but their synergy and the connection that maintains their fusion from within is crumbling fast. I have an idea, so hold his attention for a moment, which upon Kaliza now being shown dashing right back out, an eventual act of wanting to get back at Goku and Vegeta was when Kaliza then went on to shout, I will devour your soul, Vegeta! Vegeta! Both of you will be devoured! But even then, from out of nowhere, before Kaliza could even go as far as to reach Goku and Vegeta, where from out of nowhere was when we then saw a gigantic key hologram fist latch onto Kaliza's entire body, as Kaliza then went on to shout, What? What is this? What just happened? 
mind? What in the world, Yoshido responds, an astral energy projection? You're meaning to tell me that the angel Saiyan knows how to use astral energy projection? Why the hell didn't he use this against any of us if he always knew how to use this, Yoshido questions? Was he saving that for one of us or what? Now I have to know. To which from out of nowhere to the shock of everyone around him, as soon as Angel Goku is now shown having to use his ability in creating a gigantic astral energy projection hologram of himself was when Kaliza then went on to respond, What, what is this? What did you just do? I, I can't move. Why can't I break free from this? Or is this your plan, Saiyan? To hold me in place and keep me from attacking you? How do you think this will possibly help your efforts to stop me? With Angel Goku responding, Or so you think, but you couldn't be any more wrong and I'll gladly show you as to how wrong you are, Kuliza. In which seconds later, the moment Angel Susanoo Goku was from that point shown having to hoist Kuliza's body up above before having to be shown slamming him back down was when we went on to chime in, and I'm beginning to suspect that Kuliza is starting to realize that not only have the tides completely changed in favor of the Saiyans, but without his ability to control his emotions along with his disoriented mind, which doesn't appear to be focused, that he will not last much longer against them unless something were to change in his favor. Well, I do find it fascinating to witness all that I was able to witness here today, the Grand Priest went on to then chime back in. Of course, not only by having to oversee Goku's progress, but also Vegeta's progress as well. Which this is also starting to make me wonder on just how different things would be if the Saiyans had followed through and used fusion to combat Kuliza. And I could only imagine as to how powerful such a warrior like that would have been, especially by seeing what they would have been capable of in battle too. You are without a chance in the world here and it's a shame that you had to go through all of this trouble Goku continues, only to be put right back in your place. You can't win here and you know it, Kuliza. No matter how badly you try and fight against it, you just won't win. The more you try and resist, the worse this will all get for you. And the sad part here is that you could have been so much more than what you are now, but you just couldn't let the past go now, could you? This could have been all avoided, but you just couldn't face the harsh truth of the history that we share now, could you? With Omega Kaliza responding, Why don't you wake up and realize the truth here, Saiyan? The only thing that I know to be true here is that you brain-dead apes cannot possibly hope to outlast me in this fight, and especially since I'm already known for having much greater levels of endurance than either of you. You haven't beaten me, Son Goku. Not by a long shot. Whether you are wielding angel power or not, you will never beat me, and you're holding back while using this angel power of yours too, aren't you? I can see it, and that is why you are weak and will always be weak. And you both know that as soon as you let go of me and the moment the two of you are shown dropping out of these forms that you're using, that you are both done for. Because you know that if it wasn't for this so-called angel form of yours that saved you both, that you would have been already dead by now, monkey. And so I will find a way to weaken you both if it's the last thing I do. My vengeance will not be eclipsed by your energy projecting antics, monkey. I'll break both of you. To which even despite Kaliza being shown having to shoot beams out of his eyes directly into Goku Susano was when Goku then went on to respond, you might still be standing, but your entire foundation that keeps you stable from within has fallen apart. And maybe you're right, maybe I am reserving myself against you, but that's because I know that this is all I would even need to use in order to beat you now. The more you push, the faster you are tearing yourselves apart without even seeing the damage that you're doing, Goku continues. Me and Vegeta will never let you get away with taking over this or any other universe. As Vegeta then went on to shout, Hurry! We don't have all of the time left in the world to continue to deal with them while they're still merged together! It's time to break them in half and so now follow my lead! We will not have another chance to do what we need to do in order to separate them again, Vegeta continues. I have a plan and so it's now or never, Kakarot! I'm through with letting this bastard continue to run his mouth! So now hurry and launch that fool across the field and towards my direction, Vegeta then continues. It's time that I separate these clowns and put an end to all of this for good. You will send him towards me while I ricochet him back towards you and then once more towards me, you got it? Now hurry!
agree with Yoshido then having to question, say, what are those two setting themselves up to do down there? To which upon Susano now being shown throwing Kaliza across the field, with Vegeta then quickly having to be shown spinning back around and making his way towards Kaliza was when Takira went on to respond, watch closely, they're about to change the entirety of this battle within the moment, so observe below, with Vegeta then shouting, oh this is it, this is where they crumble, no more tricks, no more fusion, I'm ending this, oh that's right, do it Vegeta, Beerus then went on to quickly shout, use everything that you are made of to crush them, with Yoshido responding, oh they're both coming in very fast, in which within that very moment, seconds later, with Vegeta being shown having to punch Kaliza with tremendous amounts of force behind it, was when Vegeta from that point had then gone as far as to shout, I want you both to remember this very day, scum! Remember this very moment! To which upon Angel Goku now shown having to do the same in exiting from his Susano in making his way towards Kaliza was when Angel Whis went on to respond, just like that, Goku, show the world, especially this fusion, the fruits of your power and the true might of your strength. A brilliant and effective tactical strategy on the Saiyan's part, Hirokuma then went on to respond, this fight is done. To which upon the moment of initial contact, as soon as Angel Goku was from that point then shown punching Kaliza directly in the spine, it was only just then with Goku being shown having to completely tear apart Kaliza's spirit was when the Grand Priest went on to respond, now I see continual stress from alternating energy sources, such as the ones currently used by Goku and Vegeta, completely destabilizes the fusion's very core. And it's a strategic approach that targets the very essence of their fusion. And of course, by ping-ponging the fusion between their attacks, Goku and Vegeta could further exploit these weaknesses and shut the fusion down. And of course, by rapidly switching the direction and types of blows, they aren't giving Kaliza a moment to adjust or redistribute his energy anymore. In which seconds later, the moment Kaliza was once again now shown heading right towards Vegeta was when Vegeta then went on to shout, I've had enough from you, now I have you right where I wanted you. I told you that I would rip you both apart, didn't I? Well, now it's time that I do. To hell with your stupid fusion. Now feel the fury of my forced spirit separation attack. In which in a moment of absolute destructive fury with Vegeta being shown having to double axe handle Kaliza across the back of the head was when Budo then went on to respond, a direct blow to the back of their head. There's no way that they'll still remain as one through their fusion after a combat nation like that. Whoa, now that's what I'm talking about, Yoshido then went on to shout. What a devastatingly vicious combination by these mortal warriors. If that fusion is not split in half and is still somehow left standing, then I'll be shocked because there's no way that he could have been able to withstand that kind of an attack and still be whole down there. So did it work? With Budo responding, well, if you look a little closer and focus on the energy that is starting to emanate from below, then the answer is quite clear on what just happened, with Whis responding, what an incredible display by both of them, and especially with how they managed to utilize one another's power by breaking Kaliza down in multiple different ways. That's my Vegeta, just as I had expected. Well played on both ends of their battle strategy, Beerus continues, and now we wait to see the outcome. In which surprisingly enough, as soon as Goku was now shown having to revert right back down to his primal form, that's when Goku then went on to say to himself, I've gotta relax for a second and just take it easy. Wait, it's that feeling again. It was just like it was when I battled against Takira. That angel power has disappeared again. Well, it looks like I've gotta cool down some more before having to go back into using it again. Hey, how are you holding up, Vegeta? With Vegeta responding, I'm fine, but pay attention below and keep your eyes wide open. Do you sense that down there too? Something's happening, and so it's clear that this is far from over, so now watch and wait to see what comes out of this. They're still alive, as with two pairs of legs now being shown having to be seen through the smoke, that's when Yoshida went on to then question, wait, look over there, did Goku just lose that angel form of his again just now or what? He's reverted back into using that primal form of his, so now what gives here? Is his body simply not strong enough or what? With the Grand Priest responding, well, yes and no, Goku still grapples with the vastness of his angelic form, which is why he still needs a bit of time to readjust. Goku's spirit is ready, but his body requires moments of rest to align with 
this new power in order for him to be better suited into using it again. Every time Goku uses this angel form, the Grand Priest continues, he becomes one with the multiverse, and such interactions require moments of introspection and rest for it to work again. And especially since he's immortal, but look there, do you see it? They have separated, to which upon Frieza and Cooler now being shown having to be split apart, that's when Vegeta had now gone as far as to laugh at their fusion being split away by then responding, Well, oh well, 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 would you look at what we have here? So much for the ultimate embodiment of being the strongest existing life form in the multiverse, huh? Just look at what the two of you have been reduced to now. And here you almost had us beaten, but you just simply couldn't do it, now could you? The two of you simply couldn't perfect your fusion to the point of actually getting the job done, and now look. And now the odds have been evened, with Primal Goku chiming in, and not to mention that that was an extremely close call back there too before I was able to transform again. That fusion nearly had us down there, but I'm glad that it's done. So it looks like it's all come down to this then, hasn't it? And I take it that that must be your brother down there too, Goku continues. You shouldn't have listened to Frieza when he told you about coming here when he did, Cooler, because now look. Girls curse them! This shouldn't have been possible for them to go and do, Black Frieza went on to quickly respond. Now our fusion wasn't meant to be broken like that, so how did they find a way to break it? With Cooler responding, How could this happen, Frieza? You said that we'd have more than an hour and it's only been 40 minutes. They ruptured our fusion from within first, causing us to sever our spiritual connection which led to an imbalance first, Frieza responds. And we almost allowed for our temper to get the better of our time limit, causing our fusion to overexert more and more energy, just to simply keep up with their high levels of attack which likely sped up the process of our fusion separating. Great, this is not how this was supposed to go, Cooler responds, but then, it was only now shockingly enough as soon as Platinum Cooler was then shown redirecting his focus in grabbing Frieza by the neck, and now having to go as far as to confront his brother after having to realize something, as Cooler then went on to respond, You were planning to betray me the second we went on to destroy these Saiyans along with that god of destruction, didn't you? I looked into the depths of your mind, Frieza, and your treachery against me was clear as day, you sneaky little rat. You were willing to let me perish just so you can seize more power for yourself and rule over the multiverse alone. So now tell me why I shouldn't rip you apart and end your life now for attempting to stab me in the back. You might have everyone else fooled with your cunning words and false promises, but now I know the real monster that lurks within you. With Frieza now responding, Let, let go of me, you fool! And now is not the time for us to fight! We, we need to destroy those monkeys first! And then we'll go and sort our differences out after the two of them are dead! So now listen to me and let go so that we could finish what we've started, Cooler! I looked into your mind as well, so I know that you were going to try and do the same thing! So now let go and let's finish them! With Cooler now being shown letting go by responding, you and I are going to settle this once they die, got that? So consider this mercy until then, Frieza! With Frieza responding, well enough about me and focus on them because we need to destroy the both of them before they try and destroy us. You two have now reached the end of the line and how fitting for it to end than by having it end in a two-on-two -two fight, Goku responds. So what do you think? How do you want to do this, Vegeta? With Vegeta now responding, we fight them to the death. Simple as that. You go and take care of that brother of his and I'll deal with Frieza alone. No exceptions, no excuses. He's mine. With Frieza responding, listen to me, we have to hit them with everything that we've got if we hope to finally put an end to them for good. They're exhausted and vulnerable, and so if we hold anything back, then they will destroy us. Got it? With Cooler responding,
understanding, then so be it. But just make sure to use every ounce of whatever knowledge you've gained through that serum so that we could crush them by using their own history against them. With Frieza continuing, I did not come back onto this planet so that I may die by their hands again. And so somehow, some way, we must use everything that we have acquired to end them, no matter what. And I will take up and use any and all possible measures that I can if it means destroying these two once and for all. As it was only right then and there now, during that moment where the Beyond Dragon Ball Super story of the top five strongest warriors in the multiverse manga chapter number 63 special then comes to a close. Now this is it, with only a few more manga chapters remaining, this is now what it's boiled down to in having both Goku and Vegeta now come face to face with both Platinum Cooler and Black Frieza, so you do not want to miss out on what is about to transpire coming up next, which the upcoming manga chapter will be made available right now on my Patreon for those of you out there who are members to see. So if you would not only want to support the content that you see on this channel, but also gain additional content and exclusive access to my art, soundtracks, PNGs, and so much more, then I do encourage for you guys to become a member of my Patreon today, patreon.com slash gaming, in which I will go on ahead and leave that link located down in the description box below and pinned comment section below as well, because with everything now boiling down to an evenly fought battle and having a two-on-two -two situation take place, the million dollar question now is will Goku and Vegeta be able to fully put an end and stop both Cooler and Frieza from further carrying out their plans, or is something else bound to occur within the story that's going to leave everybody shocked by the end to that? I cannot wait to show you guys everything that's about to take place, especially now since we're less than a handful of chapters away from the end, so I do want to go on ahead and thank you all so much for watching, thank you all so much for your time, patience, kindness, and support, to which as always, if you also just so happen to be new to this channel and of course love Dragon Ball, then I do encourage you guys to head on over and smash that subscribe button, on top of making sure to give this video a big fat thumbs up by smashing that like button down below, tune back in for more, and with all that being said, I want to thank you guys for joining me once more, and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you down in the comment section below and in the next video. Take it easy, everybody, and have a great day. Peace. Hello. Did you know that you can stay up to date with the latest Dragon Ball content by simply subscribing to Unrelent Gaming? Also, don't forget to follow on these social media platforms, you sexy son of a bitch. Roshi. Silent Cell. Me and the fans are having a moment. That's right. I know what you want. Extra long, thick Dragon Ball content. Quality reviews with flawless editing. Yeah. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You dirty bitch. Roshi, the fuck? God damn it, I need them to subscribe, Cell. And we're demonetized. Yeah, screw it. Let's cut to the video.